Now, the quickest way I've found to get to the Rockwell Automation product compatibility website is to go to ab.com, scroll halfway down the page, and under quick links, you'll see a link to the product compatibility and download center webpage. When you click that, a new window or tab will open and you'll be brought to the product compatibility and download center. And from there, we'll scroll down a little bit. And under the compatibility scenarios tab, we will choose multi product compare which will open a new tab or window. And here we can search for the products that we're interested in. In this case, I'm searching for RS Logix 500. I'll choose version nine. Then I'll search for RS Logix 5 and I'll choose version eight. And then finally, I'll choose RS Logix 5000 version 20.01. And I'll get rid of Panel View Plus, which was left over from a previous search. Now let's scroll down and we'll choose compare. So on this page, we can see a comparison of these three products and their compatibility features. I don't really care about system features, so I'll close that up and I'll open up Windows 7. If we look at RS Logix 500 version 9, you can see it's compatible with all Windows 7 versions. However, when I come over to RS Logix 5 version 8, it has less compatibility, although it does support Windows 7 Professional SP1, which is what most people are running today. And finally, if I look at RS Logix 5000 20.01, I can see it also has limited compatibility. But I'm going to go ahead and change it to version 16 to see if it's compatible with Windows 7. And from the result here, you can see I got a lot of red diamonds. And if we look at the product key at the bottom of the screen, the red diamond with the exclamation point means not compatible. Now, one of the other symbols we see often is that white dash. And Rockwell says that means no known issues or dependencies. Personally, I interpret that as being not tested and not supported because it shows up in so many different places. Now I'm going to change RS Logix 5000 back to version 20.01. And then we're going to look at Windows 8 compatibility. So I'll close up Windows 7. I'll open up Windows 8. And you can see I either get the red diamonds or I get the white dashes, which means I'm not going to upgrade to Windows 8 now because it doesn't look like anything's compatible.